guys, it's Ben from BTW Fishing here, and I am just going to run over some of my backpacking gear. So, here is my backpack. It is a Kelty Red Cloud 90, and I didn't want to go with the, uh, what is it, the, like, 65, and I didn't want to go with the 110 liter, so, because both of those don't fit my needs. So I just found a nice medium. So it overall, it's a really nice bag. It has nice compartments for all my stuff. Really nice YKK zippers. Uh, nice cinching so you can always get all your gear nice, close, and uptight to your back. Um, all around, it's just a great backpack. So in the first compartment, I have... A Advil bottle full of dish liquid for washing my pots and pans. I have a patch kit for all my latex or like nylon um, materials like my camping tarp. I have a single uh, condensed fire starter and I usually have a lighter in there. I have my Sea to Summit uh, titanium silverware and that's that's all for it. So in the next pocket, the next pocket is just a area for like clothing. You can see this is the pocket and this is the main pouch. So this is just like whatever. That zips down and I'm just going to zip that up because I rather just get everything from the top. So in here I have my Camelback empty but filled with air. Um, the, the top is not open, but it's usually open like on some sort of stand so that it doesn't get moldy in there. I have my food sack to see to summit. It's like it's pretty much waterproof. All the material is, but the little cinch is the only place that water could get in. In here, I have my MSR cook stove. I have two collapsible um, plates. One is either a plate if it's all the way down or you can make it into a bowl. But I like these. I got them for Christmas. They're just nice because they're nice and thin. And then this is a cup. It's actually pretty well insulated. You can pour hot coffee in it in the morning and it doesn't burn your fingers. So that's all in there. I don't have all in there. I don't have any food in here right now because I'm not packed for a trip, and I usually put fresh food in there. Um, no, I'm still in this pouch. So I also have my uh, MSR cook pot. It's the uh, the 2.8 liter uh, cook pot, and then on the inside, I keep my little one. And these are actually really nice. There's a little handle on here with a little red button. Um, you press the handle in and it folds in, but you can also take that off and put it on the other one like that. So then it works for that one too. Um, Alright, so next I have my hammock straps for my Eno hammock. Uh, these are the Atlas XLs. I think they're like 14 or 16. I think they're 16 foot Atlas XL. They're more expensive, but it's nicer for reaching farther distances. And then I have an Eno pillow. This folds out to be about that big. It's not real thick, but it's just enough to keep my head elevated to where I'm comfortable. I have my Eno Housefly. Um, tarp, which I'm sure you'll see all this you know, stuff in another video soon. I have my uh, my underbelly, which is basically a mini hammock for all your gear. It goes underneath your main hammock and you can throw like your backpack and everything in that, just to keep it up off the, uh, off the wherever you're camping, the dirty ground. Um, this is my actual hammock. It's red and charcoal to match my pillow and my underbelly uh, and that is all for the main sack uh, on the side here I have 
my headlamp. It's a black diamond headlamp for trip or double A batteries in the back, which isn't the best for backpacking, but it's what I have. On this side, I have a medical kit. Very important to take these with you, even if you're on just a, uh, a day hike, just in case you never know what's going to happen. Uh, on this side, I have my fuel bottle for my stove. On the other side, I usually keep a, a Nalgene bottle over here, but I didn't want it to get moldy, so it's not in there. Um, this, this is a toothbrush that I cut in half and a bottle of toothpaste and I usually have this hat in there uh, it's my fire company hat so that's in there just in case and I have a waterproof bag for my phone which if you don't know how these work you put something in it like say my underbelly put that in there wrap it up a few times and then it's waterproof, so they're really nice to have. But I put like, stuff like my phone in there and other things. Um, on the bottom, I have two mats. Uh, one is a climate um, inflatable mat, which I don't have down here right now because this is packed for summer. So I just have a real thin like yoga mat type thing. It's a little dirty, but. Oh well. So that's my summer mat. And my sleeping bag is not in here right now, but I will go grab it. Alright, so my sleeping bag is the Kelty. Um, where does it say it? Oh no, it's the Marmot Trussell 15 degree bag. Um, I, in the summer, I'll use that for um, an underbelly or just to like lay on top of because I don't need a 15 degree bag for summer. If I even take that, sometimes I'll just take like a crappy 40 degree bag that a friend of mine is using. And here is that pad I was telling you about, it, um, the inflatable one. And it has these really cool uh, holes in it so that your sleeping bag can loft down into it to create more heat to push up out. And it's not fully pumped up right now, but it's 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 really it's a nice um, it's a nice little inflatable uh, thing. You know what I mean. So this is the under part for the sleeping bag to go in. And I show, showed you all the other pockets. On this little, there's two pouches on either side of the waistband. In the one, I keep clip bars. And the other one is for trash or anything that I want to throw away because I don't like leaving stuff behind in the woods. Um, this is my uh, Mora knife that it's it's just a beater knife it's not it's sharp but i wouldn't care if i lost it in the woods because they're pretty cheap they're like 15 bucks but it's just a the they're it's just a really cheap knife the blade goes about halfway into the handle so it's nice and stiff there um yeah and that i keep right there there's on this bag there's a nice lumbar adjustment which is really, it's not that hard to adjust, but it's really nice. Um, it's uh, its just, you know, it's a nice solid light bag, or it's a nice starter bag anyway, for the stuff that I'm going to be using it for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more. Um, I'll hopefully be able to film another video coming up this week. Uh, right now it's Sunday. And, well, anyway, you, you guys will see the next video coming out. So, subscribe, like, comment, whatever. Um, and you guys will see me again soon. So, there we go.